Hello, I'm Paige Allen and I'm seeking an investment today of £125,000 for 5% of Fruity Faces Limited in order to harness the global potential for our product. So what is a Fruity Face? Well, a Fruity Face is a fun inflatable fruit case. The idea is you put your fruit inside, close it up, you blow it up and as you can see the air moulds around and protects the fruit. This means children are able to carry fruit to school protecting their fruit instead of having bashed fruit in the bottom of their bag at the end of the day. The timing of this product is absolutely perfect. With the government initiatives children are supposed to be eating five pieces of fruit and veg per day. We have been awarded the Department of Health Five A Day logo to use on the product packaging. We believe this is a good investment because you are investing in an already established company. We have sold 45,000 units in the last six months. You are also investing in a social enterprise business. The profits we make are donated to children's charities. Now, you're possibly thinking, so why are you standing here today asking for investment? Well, we see that by having Dragons on board in our company, we can increase the profit potential of this product Therefore, our charities will benefit, and so will you as investors. So we see it as a win-win situation. It's an unusual proposition for the Dragons. Paige Allen wants them to invest £125,000 in her social enterprise, selling inflatable fruit cases for children. So unusual that Deborah Meaden needs some immediate clarification. One thing I need to get clear from the start, is this a charitable product? Is th does this make profit at all? It makes profit. We run it as a commercial business. We make profit. We, so far, have a turnover of 90,000 and we've made a profit of 23,000. The profits that we make, that we then donate to charity. Is there a business opportunity? Is there an opportunity for anybody to, to make money Absolutely. from this product? Absolutely, yes. As I explained, it's a win-win situation. No, we, no, it no is, you it didn't a... explain oh, because sorry. I'm sitting okay. here thinking you're giving away all, right. all of your profits to charity. So yes. do you want to I will explain. say how we make money? Yes, as an investor in it, if you have 5%, which is our proposal today, you will get 5% return of the profits of the business. The other 95% Fruity Faces have we will donate that to charity. The Dragons seem perturbed by Paige's business model. Peter Jones also has concerns about Paige offering just 5% equity in Fruity Faces for £125,000, a position that values her young business at two and a half million. What I actually don't get at the moment is how you can still value the business at two and a half million pounds with me putting in 125,000 pounds if I'm never going to see the value of that? Well, you will see the value of that because if you have your equity at 5%, you get 5% of profit. The fact that we give our profit away to charity is... Yeah, but to get my money back, you're going to have to make hundreds of thousands of pounds every year for a little while before mm. I can even get my initial investment back, let alone make money. You're not going to be able to buy your business for two and a half million pounds. Well, that's, that's surely just a donation to charity then, isn't it? OK. I have my financial director downstairs. I think that's probably a question for him. Paige has faltered under the financial scrutiny of Peter Jones. And Duncan Bannatyne isn't going to let the valuation lie with her or her financial director. This is Rob, my FD. Duncan, what? Hi Rob, nice to meet you. Rob, Paige has told us that she's looking for £125,000 for 5% of this company. Yes. Do you know what that values the company at? Yes, two and a half million. Now can you explain okay. why? I can, because the sales to date are totally down to this lady. With no marketing, she's gone out, she's sold 50000 without any help, apart from part-time help. I mean, this product would appeal to the world, children, I, 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 and it's got enormous potential. I don't have a dispute with the product, I have a dispute with the evaluation of the company. But the other thing is, investing in this way, if I just give my money to charity, which I often do, I get 40% tax relief, or the charity gets 40% tax relief. Mm. So I can give £60 to charity and it benefits to £100. Yeah, sure. 
And you can't do that with this. If I just gave you £125,000 for 5%, the charity went with a lot less money than if I just gave the 125000 to charity and got tax relief added on. Yes, and we, we possibly need to look at the status of, of our company and how it's set up. Absolutely, and, and, and if uh, it's a charity, then you need to be going somewhere else to we, raise money we, for that charity. So, you know, because the figures don't add up, I think it's fantastic what you're doing. I wish you the best of luck, mm. but it's not an investment, so I'm not going to invest. I just want you to know I'm out. Yeah, well, thank you for your time. Thank you for yeah. the advice. That's great. The Dragons are losing confidence in Paige's business skills. And Theo Pafitis has a deeper dilemma about the social enterprise model she's proposing. Personally, I don't think I could sit on your board and allow 95% of the profits to go to worthwhile charities and then take my 5% and put it in my back pocket. Mm. I, I, I don't think I could sit in front of you mm. and, and look at you in the eye it, yeah. and look at you in the yeah, eye and do that. Yes. It wouldn't be morally correct or ethical. Well, I, th I think it would be because you're, you're obviously, you know, you'd be bringing something to business, you'd be able to increase profits for charity, so you have done your good work, but you also get a return on your investment as well, which is what you're looking for. You're in the wrong place mm. with a mixed up bag that needs somehow to be ironed out by reorganising what you've got at the moment. It's not an investment for me, it doesn't stack up on that basis, mm. so I too okay. now am out. Yeah, thank you, thank you for considering it, yeah. Paige, uh, I'm, uh, and Rob, uh, I'm Richard, um, yeah, it is, it is very tricky to combine business with charity, unfortunately, because of tax issues and also motivation issues. Mm. I mean, you've got a lot of volunteers working for you, I mean, you know, how would they feel if some of it was being siphoned off to wealthy investors? You know, it, it, it's not easy, so... Um, I'd rather give directly to charity without the complications. I'm, I'm out. I wish you luck. Thank you. Page's pitch is in real trouble. Three dragons have already walked away from any deal. Will Peter Jones or Deborah Meaden see any potential for an investor in her current company setup? I think you've presented me with a, with a cause, not a business. You are asking for a charitable donation and the support of an entrepreneur behind you to push so you can give more to kids. Mm, it is different for you. That's what I said. It's a unique proposition to you. Most people that come to you are about making money for themselves. No. Does that make any difference to you no, whether, I'm involved, whether the I'm money I give goes Paige, to charity? Paige, I'm, I'm, I'm involved in very similar types of businesses where I give donations through charity-run foundations. Mm. I, I'm with you 100% on this. But what I'm saying is you're in the wrong place. Right. You've walked down the wrong street as far as I'm mm. concerned. Mm. I won't be investing. And I'm out. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, Paige, that leaves oh, you, Deborah. Yes. if this was a pure commercial proposition, mm. then I would be saying to you, this is a crazy valuation. Mm. I could well be interested because clearly you're selling the product, mm. but I want to negotiate on price. Okay. I don't enough. want to do that. And the reason I don't want to do that is mm. because it's a charity. Mm. So that's how I feel mm. because of those feelings that I'm mm. having, because yeah. of the conflicts I'm already having. There is no way I'm going to feel comfortable mm. investing. So, I'm out. Thanks a lot. Good, Good luck. Thank you. Good luck. See you. Bye. Bye. It's all over for Paige. In the end, the Dragons just couldn't buy into her unusual mix of business and charity. Oh. Very confused. Dangerous mix. Oh, very, very, very dangerous. dangerous mix.